happen. And I think there is something really shocking behind this, that the three people charged, I'm just gonna give my personal opinion, are patsy. They are an excuse to cover up the real offender in this case. This just in, a new report from TMZ claims that security camera footage at the hotel proves that Liam Payne was trying to escape his room. A shocking twist in the horrific incident that led to the untimely passing away now reveals that he was trying to escape his hotel room. Y'all new CCTV footage has been released showing that Liam was actually conscious when he was taken to his room before he tried escaping just minutes later. And get this, the reason the police arrested those three guys while doing their investigation in connection to Liam's death was because they were allegedly trying to cover up for the hotel. Y'all, this story is so wild it is leaving people shot. So join me as we look into why the police are getting accused of allegedly trying to cover up Liam Payne's death. I want to give you an opinion based on us spending a lot of time in Argentina recently. I think the police investigation, the prosecutorial investigation into Liam Payne's death, they were looking for scapegoats. And the three people they're saying who are responsible for his death, I'm not buying it. The hotel, I believe. Now, just when we thought the mystery surrounding Liam Payne's death had been solved, more shocking details are revealed. I mean, during the investigations, we heard every possible theory. At first, people thought he jumped, then none of that is true. Y'all, TMZ dropped a shocking article detailing what reportedly happened according to a source they spoke to. And y'all, if this is true, there is a massive cover-up going on. So get this, we all know that on the day of the incident, it was reported that Liam was acting strangely. He was erratic and even smashed his laptop while he was in the hotel lobby. Liam was so out of it that he had to be carried back to his room. In the room, things quite go down smoothly it seems because Reuters reported that according to a statement from a worker at the hotel. When Liam was conscious, he was destroying the room. Things got so bad that the police had to be called. According to Reuters, the police were informed that there was an aggressive man who possibly could have been under the effects of drugs and alcohol. Good morning. I'm calling from Hotel Casa Sur Palermo, Costa Rica 6032. What is happening, sir? We have a guest drunk on drugs and alcohol. When he's conscious, he's breaking everything in the room. You said alcohol and drugs. That's correct. However, according to TMZ, there is more that went on that day than wasn't initially reported. You see, Liam hated getting locked up in hotel rooms. That steamed from his 1D days that put him through some serious stuff. Day one, lonely hotel rooms, ma'am. Getting locked in that room is not fun. Having moments of suicidal ideation and... It, I mean, <laughs> there's, there's some stuff that I've definitely like never, never spoken about. But it feels to me like when we were in the band, the best way to secure us because of how big it got was just lock us in our rooms. And of course, what's in the room? Mini bar. Hmm. So at a certain point, I thought, well, I'm going to have a party for one. And that just seemed to carry on throughout many years of my life. And then you look back, how long you've been drinking and stuff, you're like, Jesus Christ, that's a long time. Even for someone who's, you know. Dot Liam always tried to get out whenever he could. As recently as September, Liam's bodyguard was concerned that Liam was on a drug binge while they were in Florida. So he forced Liam to stay inside his room in a Florida house he was renting while he was there. Instead, Liam escaped from the balcony and used a garden hose to reach the ground. Now, apparently, he attempted to do the same in Argentina. According to new CCTV footage from the Casa Sur Palermo Hotel in Buenos Aires, where Liam was staying. After Liam got disruptive in the hotel lobby, as was initially reported, three hotel workers got a hold of him and carried him back up to his hotel room. As seen by TMZ on the CCTV footage, Liam was conscious even though he seemed under the influence. Even though they blurred out his face in the screenshots, the released, I assume, out of respect for Liam, and because they got canceled after they released photos of his body after he had passed away. TMZ reported that Liam was holding his head up while he was getting carried away. When the hotel employees got to Liam's room, they struggled with Liam in the hallway because he did not want to go inside his room. But they hotel employees managed to open his room and get him inside, according to a police report. While they were there, the hotel employees removed a mirror from the wall directly outside his room, presumably so he wouldn't damage it. After they got Liam inside, that's when one employee called 911. 
It seems Liam made it clear that he didn't want to be inside and might have even told the employee that he would use the balcony to escape. That's why the employee called 911 so shocked and said, I don't know whether his life may be in danger. He is in a room with a balcony and well, we're a little afraid. Now, here is where the tragic incident happened. After Liam was left alone, he quickly tried to escape using the balcony. He grabbed his bag and a cat, which he didn't have when the employees brought him to his room, but was found on him after he fell. It seems Liam tried to get from his room on the third floor and get to the second floor, and then make the short jump to the ground floor from there. This theory has been backed up by the police report, which said that two days after Liam's death, a hotel employee went to the two ND floor room right below Liam's and discovered a brown leather bag on the balcony. In the bag, he found a note inside that said for Liam, along with various pills and a bottle of Jack Daniels. The police report said that the bag belonged to Liam. So it's presumed that he dropped the bag down to the two indie floor balcony before attempting to drop down himself. Now, according to the coroner's report, Liam was unconscious when he fell, but he was clearly conscious because he had to get his bag and his other things before trying to get out of his room using the balcony. A source that TMZ spoke to who had direct knowledge of the incident alleged that the Argentinian police were trying to cover up for the hotel. The hotel management knew they were in trouble because they seemed to be more concerned about making sure Liam didn't cause a disruption in the lobby rather than his well-being. Now, because of this, the police went after Liam's friend, the hotel employee, and a waiter to make them the fall guys for the entire thing and draw attention away from the hotel. Now, the thing that makes this case's investigation even weirder is that an Argentinian reporter by the name of Paula Varela claimed that Liam's fall was caught on CCTV and the police have that footage. According to Paula, it looked as if Liam had fainted before he fell, but the police are still keeping key details from that under wraps for the moment. Paula then further reported that one of the key suspects in the police investigations was a night worker at the Casa Sur Palermo Hotel who had struck up a close relationship with Liam. This worker is reported to have disobeyed an order from the hotel that had been issued, and it was that known was to take anything into Liam's room, Paula further added to her statement saying. It's not that Liam jumped deliberately. This footage is in the official case files. There's a lad who's being investigated. He was working nights at the hotel. He struck up an excellent relationship with Liam. He disobeyed an order from the hotel management. What was the order he disobeyed? It was not to take anything into Liam's room. Because of the good relationship he had with Liam, he requested a car through one of these taxi apps we all use because Liam wanted something. He did him that favor, a massive error because he's being investigated, and they're seeing what was transferred in that vehicle. It's one of the things the investigators are looking at at the moment, and obviously this hotel worker has been suspended. He's a cherished member of staff and a good worker, but he disobeyed an order that could have proved fatal. Now, everything in this investigation is now raising up red flags and just seems out of place now. Now, at first, the police began executing a couple of raids on a couple of people's houses whom they believe were people of interest in this case. One of those people was Liam Payne's friend. Now, here is where the raid at Liam's friend's house the dude was nowhere to be found. The police also raided the houses of two employees who worked for the hotel where Liam was staying. The police didn't harass any of them, but according to TMZ, it's believed that based on where they are in their investigations, the police are heading in the direction of making arrests. Now, of course, Liam's friend isn't the first person to get raided in connection to his death. A couple of days ago, the police raided Liam's hotel in Buenos Aires. It's reported they had initially shown up to review laptops, CCTV footage, and paper records in connection to the fateful incident, but they ended up seizing everything they looked at. Liam Payne's death investigation and all new raids, the police are still trying to uh, find the people who provided him the drugs. And they went back to the hotel where he died, conducted two raids there, and actually went through lockers of two employees who they clearly feel um, or know had some contact with Liam. They also mentioned a friend. That's all they described this person as, as a friend. Uh, they went to that friend's home, uh, obviously in the Buenos Aires area, trying to find the person they did not find the friend they said so whatever that person's connection is to this 
Uh, they're still out there and the police are trying to find that person. And the hotel employees is a whole other thing. And we know that the police looked at some surveillance video, but we don't know exactly what role. Y'all allegedly, a cleaner and another member of staff at Liam's hotel are said to have hidden the substances in a Dove soap box so they could sneak it into his room. After that, it was reported that Liam contacted two women via Gimodos, an infamous Argentinian website where hundreds of women across the country offer companionship with photos and detailed descriptions. When the police questioned the woman, they denied consuming any drugs with Liam and said all they did was spend a short time with him and had some alcohol and they left immediately after issues regarding their payment arose. So then the investigation circled back to Liam's friend who came out to deny claims that he supplied Liam with the drugs. According to Brian, the guy in question who worked as a waiter in the hotel, he never supplied Liam with any drugs, but he did take some with Liam. Brian also mentioned that Liam offered him money, but he never accepted anything. And instead, Liam gave him clothes as a parting gift to remember their time together. Brian spoke to the media and said, we took drugs together, but I never took drugs to him or accepted any money. I have messages where he's offering me money because he was apparently used to offering money for everything, but I never accepted anything. Now, with this shocking revelation about how things allegedly went down, it's leaving fans and I am sure 